the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, today's tip is that editing is part of writing. And, you know, last week we talked about not trying to be perfect on your first draft. And one of the reasons why you don't need to be perfect on your first draft is this little thing called editing. Yeah, which, you, you threw me for a loop uh, last week with the whole uh, making sure you draft and don't don't get stalled and everything, and editing is part of the, the process. Well, and, and so that also means that you're not done writing until you're done editing, because if you haven't edited what you've written, then I don't think you're done writing. And I also think that proofreading is part of editing. You know, I love technology. I love my smartphone, and I mm-hmm. spend most of my day on a computer many days, and, and I love all those, that you know, the email and the text messages and all that. It's great. It's really transformed the way I do a sure. lot of what I do. But it also has made, I think, a lot of us kind of careless, sloppy writers. LOL. Well, I don't mind the LOL so much. <laughs> but when people say or, O-R, when they mean A-R-E, E, I think that's a little over the top. Mm-hmm. And when, and the one that I noticed, it's fairly recent, I think, is um, it's a generational thing, but I think it also may be a technology thing, is an awful lot of people use the word then, T-H-E-N, when they really mean then. Oh, don't get me started. Yes. I hate that. But there's also just a lot of careless, you know, misspellings and typos and grammatical things that, are, that you can just tell. They're just people did it in a hurry. You know, if you hit a if you hit the delete button to get rid of a file on your computer, it says, "Are you really sure you want to do that?" Right. Well, I I think that there ought to be on your send button for email, like, hey, "Are you sure?" And then when you say yes, I'm sure, it ought to maybe come back one more time and say, "Did you're you gonna sound, it? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna sound dumb. Yeah. So, <laughs> and so yeah, because I, I you know like that careless writing. Is really, I think it's kind of the equivalent of showing up at work maybe with mis- mismatched shoes or with food stuck in your uh, teeth while you smile through lunch with a friend or something. You know, it's, it, it, it doesn't break any laws, but it certainly doesn't leave a good impression. Well, uh, l- let me uh, engage you a little further into this uh, conversation uh, because I do think that uh, many times uh, people do mess up their words and they don't know the there, there, and there. Right. Uh, can we just send them back to school? Well, you know, that's one possibility. There certainly are plenty of websites where you can look up common grammatical errors and things like that. Uh, and some of it, I think, is that people know better. Yeah. They just don't stop to think. If they don't know better, then they really do need to. I, I would really recommend doing something, even if that's getting someone else to proof and edit what you write mm-hmm. who does know those rules because it really can get you into trouble. And in fact, I know of people who have lost their jobs over that kind of unprofessional uh, writing and editing or like careless, sloppy stuff in, in electronic uh, communication. So so the bottom line, edit what you write. Absolutely. And be ruthless about it when you do it. But be careful while you're doing it. Pay attention. This week's tip from Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR, editing is part of writing. For an article about today's storytelling tip on the Experience Bros, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of storytelling tips that Jerry tells on the Experience Pros radio show on his website at jerrybrownpr.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, Writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. 